raise them high. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Hey boys and girls, welcome to the Red Elephant Art Club. I'm really happy you're here to do this project with us today. Today, you know, it's almost fall. I can see all the leaves changing outside and only about seven more days to Halloween. And Halloween is such a fun holiday where you get to dress up and, and go trick-or-treating and, and we have so much fun celebrating. Well, down in Mexico, they also celebrate fall, the, uh, the fall season by celebrating the Day of the Dead. And so our project today has been inspired by this book it's called Clatter Bash, A Day of the Dead Celebration. Down in Mexico, they celebrate the fall season by a uh, lot with a lot of music and good food to eat and they get together with their family and celebrate the day of the dead and one thing you see down there a lot during this time are skulls like they call them sugar skulls and they de decorate skeletons with all sorts of bright colors and costumes so that's what we're going to do we're going to paint a sugar skull today and so to be able to get this project started, we need to get our supplies ready. And I decided that we needed to use a canvas today. Now you might see canvases like this that are like on a stretch canvas. And this is, uh, these are much nicer. So if you have one of these, you, sh you can use that. But I'm gonna just use a board canvas, okay? An eight by 10 board canvas, all right? And you're also going to need some acrylic paint. And that's the reason why you have to use a canvas is because uh, acrylic paint is a lot thicker and heavier paint. And it's gonna take more to absor absorb it. So I'm gonna need you to have white acrylic paint and black for sure. Then I want you to choose three or maybe even four different other colors, bright colors, any colors you, you love. I chose red, green, yellow, and blue. But you can choose any colors you want, as long as they're the colors you love, okay? And then you're gonna need paint brushes. I'd use get a wide one because we're gonna paint the whole background with a wide brush, then maybe a smaller detail brush, and then maybe a medium-sized brush. You're gonna need some water, and don't forget your smocks. Acrylic paint will stain your clothes, so make sure you wear a smock. Then we're gonna use a different kind of tool. These are called dotting tools, all right? And you can buy them online, or maybe you have something at home. If you don't have something like this, you can use other different things, like Q-chips maybe, or uh, maybe some type of kitchen tool. Something that you can make a, a dot with. These, these are really handy. So. Uh, get your supplies ready and I will see you in a few minutes, okay? All right. Hey, boys and girls, you get your things ready. You have your canvas, you have your paint brushes, you have your acrylic paint. You need to have your white and your black first. You're gonna need some water, some uh, dotting tools, and then maybe four different other bright colors and then make sure you're wearing a smock. I also like to have a rag handy uh, in order to help me with my um, cleaning my brushes. But uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get started. I want you to have your canvas board uh, pointed like vertical. This is called a portrait style. So have your canvas like this, all right? Cause we're gonna make the skull up and down. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is you need to get your paintbrush a little wet and then get it on the black paint. And I want you to paint your whole board black. You can also use maybe another bright, fun color if you want, but I chose black. So, oops, I'm gonna need to get this a little bit wetter. Paint your whole board, just go up and down. It's best not to go this way and then this way. Go one direction, and you don't wanna swirl it either. That messes up your brushes. So just go ahead and paint your whole canvas black. And if you have an easel to put your canvas on, that's even better. I just didn't do it because I didn't think you'd be able to see what I was doing as well. So I am laying it flat. But if you had a canvas, you wouldn't be getting it on the table like I am. And I'm going to hold this up just a little bit so I can get all the way to the edge of my canvas. You want to make sure you cover your whole canvas. See how that is not covered, you need to make sure you don't have any of your canvas showing. So make sure you put a nice thick coat on your canvas. Now acrylic paint takes a little longer to dry than um, watercolor. So if your mom or your dad may have a hair blower, 
you might want to get that and then you can draw your acrylic paint uh, faster okay because then we can get start you know get going on it right so because you do have to make sure this is good and dry before we do our next step right I love using acrylic paint. I like better using it better than oil color, oil paints, because oils take like days to dry sometimes. Acrylics dry faster, but they do take a little longer than watercolors. Okay, so make sure, see how I covered the whole thing? You make sure all your canvas is covered, all of it. Really good, and you go one direction. Okay, kids, I'm gonna turn this off for a second while mine dries. I'm gonna go get a blow dryer and dry it really fast, and you guys can do the same. So anyway, I will see you back in a minute, and we'll do our next step. Make sure you rinse your brush off, all right? Because you wanna keep your brushes nice. Hey, boys and girls, do you have all your supplies together? Okay, so. We're going to move on to the next step. You need to make sure you have some white and you need your thin detail brush. Okay, we're going to pretend this is like a pencil now. All right, so you need to get it wet and you're going to dip it into your white paint, right? And let's just pretend this is a pencil and we're going to draw with it. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is find the center of your paper and right here, then go from one side on the other side. We are going to draw some eyes. Okay, and skeletons have great big eyes. So we're just gonna make a great big circle like this right here. Then I want you to do one here on the other side. Like that. Okay, we got two big eyes. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make some cheekbones. I want you to go down about a finger's width away and I want you to draw an angle like this and then like this. They're kind of like, like little V's, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take it and we're gonna go from here and I want you to go all the way over here. So you're gonna go around, this is the top of his head. So I want you to take it, go around like this, okay? Just like that, okay? And you can go back over a little bit if you, if you ran out of paint, you can go like that. Okay, now we're gonna make the nose a skeleton's nose, and it's right here, of course, in the middle. And I want you to go like this, and I want you to make a little curve up like that, like a backwards J. Then on the other side, I want you to make like a J, and it's gonna go like that. It's kind of like an upside down heart. All right, and just so you know, you can like use it like an eraser. If you really screw up, you get some of your black paint and you can just paint over the top. See how that works? You'd have to let it dry to be able to paint over it, but I'm just gonna wipe it off like this with my towel a little bit and redo it. Okay, so don't worry if you make a mistake, we can paint over it. All right, there you go. Okay. So there we got our upside down heart for our nose. Okay, now I want you to come over here and I want you to start about right there and I want you to go down to here, from here to here. All right, so just kind of curve it around and go straight there. Then you do the same thing on this side. You come over here and I want you to go even with this side. So you're gonna go down here and right to there. And then we're just gonna close it off from here to here. I'm getting paint all over me. That's not unusual. I usually have paint all over me. Okay, all right. So just like that. I'm gonna just kind of color it in a little bit, paint it in a little bit better. All right, so now I want you from here to here, I want you to draw a line. Okay, just like this, going across. We're gonna put his teeth on here. 
there's his line for that. Now, to make his teeth, we're gonna go up and around, just like this, okay? Go up and around, make little heels. You're gonna do this on the top, and then you're gonna do it here on the bottom. But you're gonna connect, make sure you go right here, make sure it connects to the other line, from here to here, like this, like that. Okay, go from here to here, from here to here. And just do it all the way, all the way around, just like that. And there's his teeth. Okay, all right. Now, if you've got that all done now, you're gonna need a bigger, uh, a bigger brush than your detail brush, maybe like a medium-sized brush. This has black paint on it. We don't want black paint on right now. We're gonna get the white paint and we're going to paint in the skull, okay? So just take your white paint and then you paint this all in. All the way around. Try to stay even around. You don't want to swirl it. You want to go around just like this. And go all the way and paint the whole thing in. Don't paint the teeth or the inside of his eyes or the inside of his nose. We want those to stay black. You just go ahead and paint like this. Just go around. Just like that. Okay. okay and try to stay in the lines. Okay, if you need to get a smaller brush, especially when you go around the teeth, sometimes that might be a little harder. You may need to get a smaller brush. I think I might. So let's see. Let's see, when I go at the top of that, paint that all white. Okay. You wanna make sure you cover your canvas. All right, I'm going to get a smaller brush now to be able to go around my teeth a little bit better. See, let's see, I'm going to go around here like this. Go around it like that so I don't stay out, don't get out of lines. All right, just go ahead and paint the whole thing. You can put me on pause if you need to, to catch up. Just like this. I want to smooth my paint out. Okay. And I'm going to do around here in the bottom as well. Okay, just like that. Go around each one of these. Sometimes you have to make this go around this outside of it first in order to make sure you don't uh, mess up. Okay? Just go ahead and paint the whole thing. And then after you do this, this has to dry as well. So you might want to get your hair dryer again and dry it really well. Because now after we do this, we're going to add some details to decorate our skull. Okay, kids? All right. Finish working on this. I'm going to set mine aside and get a blow dryer and dry it. And I'll see you back in a few minutes. Hey kids, did your did your painting dry? Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna decorate ours. Now you can decorate it any way you want, but you can follow along with me also if you want to do it like I'm doing. Okay, so you're gonna need your detail brush, a small brush like this, and then I've got some more colors. You won't need as much as you use for your black or your white, just a little bit. And so you can fill your trays up with some bright different colors and we can get started, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like a yellow heart, okay? Now acrylic paint can sometimes be a little dry, so sometimes you need to add a little bit of water to it, but not a lot, it's not like watercolors. So I'm just gonna put a big heart right here right between the eyes and the nose, like this, and I'm gonna color it in, just paint it in, like this. Okay, and there's my heart. Make sure you rinse your brush out 
in between colors or you will have a muddy mess, okay? So there's my, my uh, heart. And then I think that I'm going to decorate the eyes next. And this is where I'm gonna use my daughter's, my, my tool, okay? So I'm going to, what you do with the daughter, you just get some paint on the end of your brush. Usually you push straight down like that, and you have some paint on the end of your brush. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my eye, like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. And then of course, you it's the same thing like a brush. You need to make sure you rinse it off. So I'm gonna just wipe it off. Now what I'm gonna do is take a larger dotter. Let's see, I think I'm gonna use a bigger one. And I'm gonna get some blue on this one. It's kind of thick, so I'm gonna need a little water. And I'm gonna make flowers going around. I just want paint on the very end of it. Okay, let's see if I did it right. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm gonna to go to the opposite sides like this. And then I'm gonna go like that, like that. Then I'm gonna go in between and make like a flower. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So you start here at the top, you go down, then you go to the other side, and then you go to either side like this. All right, that didn't get enough, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay, now I go in between. Oops, okay. And there's a flower. All right, so here we go. All right, now let's see the next thing we're gonna do. You can decorate any way you want, but I'm going to add another flower, I think. All right, or you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my black, my uh, detail brush, and I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna swirl it around. I'm gonna go from here all the way up to here. Like that. And then you can do, I'm gonna do it on the other side too. Oops, like that. Okay. All right. Then you can take your little tiny daughter and you can make some dots going in. I think I'm going to use green this time. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, like that. Do the same thing on the other side. The way around. Okay. All right. Like this, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Now I think I'm going to make another heart. I'm going to use my detail brush again and I'm going to make a red or pink. I think I might make a pink heart. So just adding a little white to my red will make pink. And I think I'll make another heart right up here at the top. All right. And just color it in. You can see how this is, boys and girls. You can um, go ahead and, and just decorate it any way you want. But I wanted to give you some ideas how to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stop the video now, but I want to see your own creation and see what you come up with, okay? I'll show you mine at the end, okay? But have fun decorating your sugar skull, and make sure that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and please take a picture and post it to our Red Elephant Art Gallery when you're all done so I can see your wonderful art painting, okay? Okay, kids, until next time, bye-bye. Oh, hey kids, I decided to come back on just really fast to show you mine and just talk to you about a couple of other things. Um, I decided to decorate 
the outside of my round my outside of the skull too and in order for you to do be able to do that you need to know because the paint is uh the background is black and it's really dark if you try just to paint like red on there like right here it won't show up you have to use white paint first and paint your flower all white let it dry and then come back and paint it with the color that you want so if you wish to do that that's how you have to do it and anyway you can see how i decided to do mine i added a a, a spider web up here and i added some more flowers around and stuff but i want to really anxious to see how you guys decided to paint yours but uh anyway i wanted to share that with you and of course always make sure that you sign your paper uh, your paintings always i'm going to sign mine right now and Make sure that you take a picture, kids. I really want to see your artwork. So I'm um, put it on the Red Elephant Art Gallery on our Facebook page. All right, guys. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Please give us a, a click the like button and subscribe. Until next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Them high.